India is getting ready for a very big launch. The largest rocket India has ever made, the GSLV Mark III or the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle Mark III is on the launch pad. I have with me the chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization, Dr. K. Radhakrishnan. Dr. Radhakrishnan, what, why is GSLV Mark III important for us? The GSLV Mark III is designed for putting four ton class communication satellites into geostationary transfer orbit. It's almost doubling the current capacity provided by the GSLV Mark II. So it's a very major step. And what we are doing now is to have an experimental flight of this GSLV Mark III with active lower stages, but with a passive cryogenic upper stage. The idea here is to study how does it perform during the crucial atmospheric phase. And once we are clear about it, then we would be ready for the first developmental flight in another two years. And by that time, the cryogenic engine and stage are expected to be ready. Why has it taken us such a long time to make this vehicle? See, there are several new things to be done in this. First and foremost, the S200 solid strap-on stages that we are using the third largest solid booster of the world had to be developed. And for that, we also needed to set up a facility with the semi-automatic -automa processing of the propellants. And these two motors have to work almost in identical fashion so that the rocket goes properly. The second part of it is we are using a liquid core stage with two engines working together. That is another major challenge to understand the behavior of it and test it and qualify on the ground. The third thing is the cryogenic engine that we are using in this one has three times more capacity compared to what we have flown in our GSLE Mark II. And we needed to develop that and a lot of test facilities had to be set up. It was a challenging task. So this but will become our mainstay rocket in times to come? Yes, exactly. We will be able to send Fortin class communication satellites using GSLE Mark III and that's the future direction for us. So that was Dr. Radhakrishnan telling us that the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle is ready for its test. With camera person Ravi, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.